dangerous there is. You could literally just fix all of your issues if you would control your portions. Just eat less and you'd be fine, right? That's kind of the overall purpose. Or how about this? Go ahead and eat less and exercise more because the equation would work. If you, if you just stop eating food but you work out like crazy, you should you know, become healthy. Right? That's the generalized message. That's why in January, what does everybody do? They join A and they start eating salads. And what happens? You might lose 5 pounds, 10 pounds here or there, but to pull off 50 or 60 or to reverse heart disease or diabetes, you're going to have to go a lot deeper than that. Also, this is the global message for nutrition, yes? Mm -hmm. Eat less fat and eat lots of whole healthy grains. And I will tell you, that is the problem today. That right there is why, number one, we are so sick and why we're so overweight. You might be like, what? How does my grains and my breads and my fat have to do anything with my heart disease and diabetes and cancer and Parkinson's? It has to do everything with it. This is the typical female of the 1960s. Now listen, I was born in the early 70s, so I wasn't around for this, but what I can tell you is, from everything I've read, most women at the time, and I'm not saying anything good or bad about this, were housewives, they stayed in the house, it would have been like horrible for her to actually go to a gym and work out. Do you guys agree? <laughs> what kind of food do you think she ate and cooked stuff in? She used lard and butter and ate everything today that we would say, oh my God, you're going to have a heart attack and you're going to die. <laughs> and yet the average housewife today is in a gym at least three or four times a week, probably part of a cardio workout. I guarantee eating whole healthy grains for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, drinking milk, going low fat, and she's working out like crazy, letting everybody else know how important her health is because she's pushing her kids around with her. So you see her and you see her efforts. Does that make sense? That's what we do today, right? So the key is this. In 50 years, our weight has literally doubled, tripled, quadrupled. We're looking at a 214% increase in our weight from the 1960s. Can anybody tell me why? What happened in 1960? Monsanto? They introduced... Not yet. Monsanto didn't come around then. Yet. They introduced crypto... Not, not Crisco and trans fats. We did something to our fats in 1960. We, we had a, a panel come together led by Dr. Ansel Keys, and they said this, holy cow, when people do rarely have a heart attack, they have this waxy substance in their arteries called cholesterol. And here's what they did. They said, oh, I'll go back to it. What that because of all the fats we're eating, because fats will produce cholesterol in the body, we have got to go to war on fat. It's 1960. It was known as the National War on Fat. Everything became cut the fat out of our diet. And as a result of doing that, we become fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Here's the 1960s US food chart, which was not a pyramid. This is what they said to do. And there's one phrase on here that I'd love. See if you guys can find it. It's at the bottom. In addition to this, eat whatever you want. 1960. Now look at the, the groups that they had. They're like, go for butter, go for fortified things. We're looking at, they broke things down between greens and colors. So oranges and reds versus greens. Their vegetables weren't just eat more vegetables. They actually focused on the healthy things, greens, fats. You know, yes, they had breads. Yes, they had milks and dairy and all this sort of stuff. But it was kind of an all-encompassing if you at least do this, you're good, but eat whatever you want. We were the thinnest we were and the healthiest we were ever. Eat whatever you want. Who would like to do that? 